welcome to vlog, I'm going to go 14. Um, oh, it's not the best background, but I'm going to do a really quick twirl because you can see my problems then. Woo! Hope that didn't make you feel sick. I'm really sorry if it did. Welcome to vlog 14. It's Tuesday, which actually, instead of just trying to mumble my way through the days of the week, I thought I'd think about it before I started vlogging and then I did a twirl so that kind of cancelled that madness out. Is it good anyway? So, small and supercharged launch on Saturday, yay! Oh, I'm so pleased. The comments and feedback have been lovely. We've closed enrolment for July, so we're looking to, if you want to join now, they can join for August because we've got the challenge in July. And I don't want, I don't think people are gonna get the most out of it if they join halfway through because of the content and the time to do the challenge really. And I think it's really important everyone gets everything they possibly can out of it to make it as good as possible and I cannot wait to see all the um, challenges when they're done. It's also really lovely that at the moment my, my name's being tagged in various different places where people have received their motivational print which is really cool. I'm going to put my next lot in the post box today and I've got two international ones I need to post which I haven't done yet. I might delegate that job to my mother-in-law. She's good at that kind of thing. Um, so I'll do that. But yeah, it's really lovely seeing all these motivational prints all over the place with like little small and supercharged logo. It's really, really cool. So that's really good. Um, I'm going to do my favourites as well this week and my blog of the week, which I've just read, which is by... Actually, I'll tell you about that now. I'm meant to be getting the buggy out for a walk, but we'll multitask. So my blog of the week is from the... Instead of a vlog this week, I'm going blog. It's from the completely lovely Emily Mumford of Inkpot and Press Media Services. Now, Emily is part of the Event Rider Masters team who are at... Uh, the third leg is at Barbary International Horse Trials. Good God, it's like the longest phrases in the world um, this weekend, which is amazing. And Emily's written this really, really great article because I don't actually know much about what's going on. I mean, I know about ERM, I know about Barbary, but I haven't really seen an awful lot of news about it. So it was really, really good to get a feel for what's going on. Um, and the, con like the contenders, the, that's not the right thing, the field is amazing. There's, I think, oh God, I'm going to say there's 11 of the top 30 FEI ranked riders, which is amazing. Um, the rider who won leg one, Gemma Tattersall's there. It's phenomenal and Barbary's quite interesting because it's like a bowl. You can sort of see most of the cross country fences from one position, so that's really cool. But it's an amazing blog and I'm going to pop the link below. Obviously when you see this, Barbary will have gone, but it was a really, really well written blog. Blog, yeah. And um, really interesting because they're now moving on to, I think Jardy's next, which I think's France. I'm really bad at geography, but I think it's Jardy next, which I'm pretty sure is France. Um, yeah, but that's my blog of the week, and my favourites will come later, but you see it in a lot of videos, so it's not, yeah, you can't see in this video though. So, exciting. So, as you know if you watched last week's vlog, I'm trying to do a favourite thing of the week each week, because I have lots of lovely things that I wear and use and talk about or things I've found um, or useful things to help you kind of run your business that could be books or whatever but this week I'm going to talk to you about this so this is the hi-ho silver cherry roller bangle now this version has got sterling silver it's sterling silver with um, rose gold they, they call it vermeil I'm not sure it's said like that but it's v-e-r-m-e-i-l which is like a thicker plating so it's got um, four, it's got five beads, but the central bead has actually got the Hi-Ho logo on it. I'm not sure if you can see that. So this version has got uh, two sterling silver beads, two sterling silver with rose gold vermeil, thick plating, and the central bead's got the Hi-Ho logo on, and that's solid rose gold, which is lovely. Now the cherry roller design is exclusive to Hi-Ho, they created it and I really love it because uh, the alternating colours on the rose gold version are like a proper cherry roller bit, which is obviously a horse bit, which is made using copper um, as well as stainless steel. The other really good thing about this bangle, which I love, is how easy it is to put on because I've got, actually that's another Hi-Ho bangle, I've got this one here which you have to kind of contort your wrist to get it in and it really hurts if you ever take the damn thing off. This one's easy. That's another favourite. Um, but this one, it's got a really clever little hinge. So it's really easy to put on and take off and really secure when it's in place. It's 
really easy. Um, the other great thing about this is that the collection's really evolved and now there's bling beads with cubic zirconias in different colours which you can have alternate or you can have your whole bangle made up of these beads if you want. And they also do necklaces, um, rings, earrings, all sorts. So I love it because I wear this bangle all the time. I, I literally, this is like the longest it's been off my wrist. Um, I wear it in the shower, I wear it walking the dog, I wear it on a horse, I wear it working all the time. And um, I really love it, really, really love it. So that's my favorite of the week. You'll probably see it in all of my videos uh, if you get to see my right wrist. It's on there with another favorite for another week. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Um, and if you are going to uh, Newmarket for the July festival, you can go and see it in person at the, um, the, the new shopping village. So yeah, that's my favourite for the week. Hi there, so back again, Ooh, walking, it's a bit cooler, thank God. Two coaching calls today and I was pretty sure I'd gone very, very red. Well, I know I'd gone very red, I can see. <clears throat> beauty of Skype, you can see yourself. Which isn't actually the beauty of Skype at all, is it? Anyway, um, I'm also going to try and structure in, in addition to my vlog or blog of the week and my um, favourite thing of the week, which we've done with the cherry roller bangle, um, I also want to do a sort of few businessy shout out things. Um, so there'll be a mixture of clients and just a mixture of brands I love. But first up, we're going for KA Equestrian and the lovely Karen McConnell. Now, Karen has had her first article published in Horse Magazine, which is brilliant, because Karen is amazing. She's KA Equestrian, I'll pop the link below. And, gosh, she's a busy lady. She um, has a livery yard, she coaches, she rides, she schools, she has two young children, and <clears throat> she is following her dreams to become a Grand Prix dressage rider, which is amazing. And she's doing such a good job and the content she creates for her social is just very good, very good. So first shout out goes to Karen. Um, second shout out goes to Hi Ho Silver, Fairfax and Favour, the Oxford Shirt Company and the amazing um, oh, a dog for the stunning photo shoot that they did at Newmarket. You may see have seen the video on Hi Ho's Facebook page um, that was taken there, which is amazing. And the photos are just gorgeous, so good. And I put the link below to the video on Vimeo. Um, and you'll see the pictures on, oh, through a little thing, through, on Hi Ho's social, as well as Christ, Fairfax and Favours. And also they are at the Moe en Chandon, July festival, let's call it. Um, you know, the champagne company. Um, next Thursday, Friday and Saturday and it's the first time they've had a trade village there which is incredible. So Hi Ho are going to be there with Fairfax and Favour and the Oxford Shirt Company and it's, I mean, those are three pretty amazing brands so that's going to be amazing. So if you are in Newmarket for the July Festival definitely go and see them. The next shout out is going to be for the Ever Me and Ever Me feature on the bit UK site, oh link below, I'm gonna switch arms. It's a great feature, it features products from, I think it's Chatham Marine, along with Hi Hi Silver's amazing bee necklace, which I love, and um, Mackenzie and George, and obviously Ever Me and Ever Me. So it's a lovely feature, and kind of has a different take on summer fashion, which is always good. I personally, switch arms back, really, really struggle with summer clothing, I hate it. I've got a shirt that's way too short, I'm not gonna show you any further down. Um, it's not great. So yeah, also another client shout out is to the fabulous Rachel Bragg who's Sweet Images Photography. She had an article published in Equestrian Life, also put the link below, um, on how to, on sort of preparing a photo shoot with your veteran horse. Because again, it's a lot that she does a lot of work in. She does a lot of work with veteran horses when she's preparing photo shoots. And I think sort of making it a lot more kind of approachable and not being terrified of it is really important. So yeah, lots of really cool things going on actually. Um, I'm sure there was something else I was gonna mention, I've completely forgotten it, never mind. So yeah, all good. Whew, gosh, it's so warm. 
I may have mentioned that a few times. I'm kind of pleased it's Thursday. I had two really good coaching calls today, which flipping dog, which was fab. Um, I've been really busy on other things in between. Um, so you know, all really, really good. Just kind of pleased it's a weekend really. It's been a busy old week with the VIP launch as well. But that's gone really well. I did a little Facebook Live today, which is quite good fun on the normal small and supercharged group. So I think that's about it really for this week. So thank you ever so much for watching. As always, I massively appreciate it. I know you're we're all busy people. Um, please give me a little thumbs up if you liked my ramblings, and I'd love a subscribe as well if you have a moment. Um, also, blog-wise, I've kind of really should give my own blog a bit of a shout out. There's a lovely blog which I put on yesterday which by the time you watch it will be next week oh god it's another time travel thing which is a few minutes with felix from fairfax and favor he's one of the joint founders it's a really nice interview felix is lovely if you ever get the chance to go and see a fairfax and favor stand a because it's beautiful and i think it's prosecco they give away top tip um yeah if you ever get a chance to go to a fairfax and favor stand do because they're such lovely people there's Felix and Marcus who are the joint founders, but the whole team are lovely. And um, I think what comes over in the, in the few minutes with the article is how important the team is. So that was really lovely to them. So go and definitely go and have a look at that. And yeah, have a great week. I'll see you next week.